This is a preview of the new Classmate app for instructors. And so if you've been wondering where are your fall classes, how do I link two sections or three sections of the same class together? How do I upload my syllabus? How do I find my class roster? Then you'll love this. You're going to be able to find the new Classmate app and it's going to be one of the featured items here on the My UWF desktop. So in order to find your fall classes you're going to log into My UWF and uh, you either can search in the search bar for Classmate and make sure it says Fall 2014 and uh, you'll go to the search bar and either type that in or you'll see it as a featured item right here. Now once you find it I recommend that you star it. You click these stars and it'll turn yellow and that will bring it up to the top for you and keep it at the top so you don't have to search for it uh, the next time. And so we're going to go into the new Classmate app so I can show you what it looks like. And uh, this is an instructor schedule here. And you can see, I first want you to notice how clean it is. It just looks great. And so the, your courses are listed. There are four columns here. The first column is the, the section number. You'll notice section numbers are now five digits instead of four. And so the section number here is 80787. Uh, the name of the course and how many credit hours it is. And so that's listed in the first column. And the second column is uh, which campus. Is, uh, this one is an online campus course. Then this one is a main campus course course and this one's Fort Walton Beach so it'll tell you the location of the course whether it is fully online as in the case of these first two or if it is on main campus or Fort Walton Beach it also will have a room number here for uh, for face-to-face -face classes and uh, this period here will tell you the dates the start date and the end date of the course itself. That's listed here on the second. And the third column are your number of students. Uh, 26 out of 45 are enrolled and so on. And then there is a detail tab. Let me just also show you that there's this little arrow right here. This is a collapsible menu. So if I collapse it, so if you come to your course schedule and there's nothing there, be sure to check, make sure that, that uh, you click on that little arrow and it'll bring your schedule up. Now going into the first class, you click details and that will bring you into the course. The first thing you'll see if it defaults to the roster here, there's three tabs, course info, roster, and e-learning management. And each one of these tabs has different information. So if I start with course information, you'll see quite a lot. Uh, you can actually go to your course from this link here. You can get textbook information by clicking on that link and it'll uh, go to the bookstore. There's a final exam schedule here at this link and this is a link to upload your syllabus. It's all in one place now so you can upload your syllabus right here from this link and there's also a link to collaborate session management for this particular class so uh, that's pretty nice. Um, so clicking on the second one is the roster it gives you your student and then e-learning management here is how you can link courses together. This is also where you set your tech codes. Uh, you want to make sure if your class is an e-learning course which means that um, if it's fully online this should be already clicked for you but you want to make sure that it is checked and this is how your students get loaded into your course so you want to make sure that that check mark is there if your course is a supplemental or blended course and you want to use e-learning you know for some course activities so you also want to make sure that that is checked uh, that actually will give you a date at that point so you'll be able to see the date that you actually checked that box. If you want to allow early access to the course you can do that here by clicking that box. What that does is it loads students in and students will be able to access that course shell the day after uh, grades are submitted. And this is where you would set your course links. And so if I have two sections of the same course but I only want to manage the content in one course shell, I don't want to have to make changes to two or three different 
different courses, I can link them together. You can then work on your content using only one course shell. And that's how we would do that there. It's into the course link. I want to show you one more thing real quick, and that is if you have a face-to-face -face class, as this one is, I want to show you a, a very cool feature in that you get the course map right here. So if it is a face-to-face -face class, you can get directions and you have your classroom location right here on a map, uh, which is very, very nice. And that looks also, let me mention, that looks very good on a mobile device. So you can pull this up on your phone or your iPad and uh, it's going to uh, work just fine for you. Uh, so that's the new Classmate app and it should be available soon.